got these mops. What are you gonna do about it? Oh. I mean, everyone's paying attention. That's something. He would hate it. Yeah, starting to understand this intro a little better now with Hinata picking himself off the floor in the darkness. Yikes. But you know what? We started at the bottom, which will make it even more glorious when we go to the top. To the top. Haikyuu to the top. Yeah, this makes a lot more sense too. Coach versus Hinata feels like now. I wonder if we're even going to get any Karasuno team play this season. I mean, season three was a lot. Episode three. Perspective. Yeah, and speaking of perspective, we still have spring spring tournament, spring championship, nationals. Hinata will feel right at home in that situation. They're keeping an eye on him, and I want to believe it's more than just because he's making a lot of noise. R.I.P. whoever's hands this goes to. Sorry. I mean, he's learning. He's paying attention. Right, I mean, one thing he'll get a, a benefit from doing is he has a different view. He's not working on his individual skills, but he's seeing things from a different angle, which you think, you hope, would increase his valuable IQ and awareness, understanding of team play and defense. He's allowed to have a more bird's eye view because he's not focusing on like his role. Exactly, yeah, you have to. That was a really nice transition flashback. Flashback transition. I'm saying, like, there's so many sports he'd be great at. Volleyball doesn't play to his physical advantages. There are other sports that would. That's how it is sometimes. Can't choose your passions. Well, get light on your feet. He was there. He was doing it. endless. The deeper you go, the deeper it'll get. It's part of the fun. Well, there you go. This feels more optimistic, at least. Like, he's getting something out of it. Not just wallowing in sadness. Can't even let him eat? I think I know someone who will have a feeling. Right there. Yeah, that seemed to be an opportunity to play. Maybe you can win him over with flattery. <laughs> That's what he likes, right? This is what he's looking for. He's looking for the star spot. Finally. How to win friends and influence volleyball classmates. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's getting something about like reading balls, right? He can practice his splatter step. Split step. And get there. Oh, he's there at least. Uh, for this kind of thing, I mean, it's good that he's being so conscious, but isn't it going to be mostly just reps? I feel like a lot of this is something you're best letting your brain and body just into it over time because it's one of those like central nervous things where the reaction has to be so quick you don't even have time for a thought oh yeah he lives in boar country way out there and i've heard that there's a, a window of time where it's optimal to eat like right after you finish training although i don't know if that's true or not Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, that's a relevant question. He's paying attention. Look, if you can't get a good nutritious meal at a Japanese convenience store, then you can't get one anyway. I miss their konbini fried chicken. Oh, I brought a toothbrush expecting to sleep over. I get their side of things like not giving him food, not giving him a bed. Because that really makes it his decision. It's like, you really want to be here? You decided to come here knowing the risks with your eyes open? Okay, then we give you nothing and you can come. That is, in some sense, the fairest thing and acts as a deterrent for other people not following the rules because that would just be chaos. But it's so cold. It's so cold hearted. Give my man a bed and a, a food, a meal, have a heart. I wouldn't say that at all if it took something away from students who were invited, but they've, they've established that it doesn't. He's doing a service, you know, he's pulling his weight. Pay the man in food and bed. It's really good advice. They say you should train how you do the real thing as closely as possible. He's killing these jump serves now. I like it. Sometimes they gotta go backwards before you can go forward. This feels very familiar. I think they just like doing these exercises. They just like their refreshing hill sprints and refreshing court dives. He's getting more cognizant of what he's doing, more conscious. Yeah, it's just reps. Consciousness plus reps, I guess. Nice <laughs> Uh, he's buildable. He's moldable. He's not overly rigid. That's real. I was thinking about that in March Comes in Like a Lion because I had to eat and drink a lot of sugar during matches. I feel so hungry after making these videos, always, even though I'm just sitting here. I think just due to the level of focus. What's up, Suki? What's up, Ushiwaka? Ask him. Only one way to find out. Brought to you by Pokari Sweat. I mean, Potari Sweat, excuse me. I want to see that too. He definitely has his own challenges, just like Kanata. Things change so quickly when you're in a, when you go up a league. Why is your face like that? Why didn't we go for it? Oh no, it's a repeat of the past. Oh, that gave me bad feeling. But no one went up for that. That's the thing. I mean, not his gift, it's not his volleyball acumen, it's his athleticism, but more than that, his spirit. Yeah, he's a shining light on your own shadows. Get it. Best ball boy. Sorry. Sorry for you. In a moment like this? <laughs> Not now. 
I understand if you cry. Oi. What? Can you not be so damn cheerful all the time? Please be wholesome. Please be wholesome. What? Oh, come on. I want to see what it has to say. Right now. Now. I feel like it'll be wholesome. He's not a one. Everybody was beating up on him. He found a way to make it useful to himself after he stuck his head in that stack of gym mats. If you've learned one thing from Haikyuu, a lot of turning points, major turning points, come out of storage rooms. They're going to come around eventually. No, he's going to earn their respect. Those who, whose respect he doesn't have already. The head coach, I mean, I don't know. He, he's bogged down on other stuff, like just resentment. But I feel like if anyone goes to bat for him, it might be the junior coach, the second coach in command. He's clearly noticing him. Hopefully this ends with Hinata getting some training, or at least just a hot meal. <laughs> like, come on. Come to think of it, this is focusing so much on Hinata. It would be really cool to switch over to Kageyama because they're two halves of a whole, right? Kageyama is the talent, the volleyball talent that they all covet so highly that Hinata lacks. And he is being recognized for it. And he's he is going to the top. But there are obviously going to be pitfalls in that too. What does he get out of it? What is the most important? Is it the skill? Is it the physical prowess? Is it the heart? Is it a combination of all those things? Hinata is sitting there glorifying Kagama's position, but Kagama also is going to have a lot of challenges too, just in a different way. The good news is, you know, zooming out and looking at a big picture, it is really cool to think that they're both going through these separate journeys, but will inevitably come back together for the Nationals tournament.